We're going on to our next topic. Last week, we discussed the, the pretty sad news that uh, Toys R Us was going to be closing down all of its stores. Well, the sad news is that there are 31,000 people losing jobs. But Yes, that was the other... Yes, that 30... <laughs> yeah, 31,000. I think we even said it might have been 33. But either way, yeah, you, we'll more. just round it down to 30,000. That's still terrible. 30,000 people are going to be losing their jobs. And a just a beloved toy company that we've all kind of loved whenever we were kids is just completely going under just because of bad business decisions and just the growing market. Yeah. And one of the ones you, I was talking with, Hey, what, what's some things you want to talk about on the show? And you had mentioned, Oh, did you hear about this bullshit Toys R Us, uh, crowd fund? I'm like, that can't be real. That can't be real. And I'm like, Adam, that's just Adam spewing his typical, uh, conspiracy bullshit. I'm like, <laughs> No way that a billionaire would ask for money to so help save the company. Well, little little research I did. Adam wasn't just talking out of his ass. I'm always right. You're not always right, but man, I was like, no way, Adam. Come on. I'm not going to repeat. I'm not going to do your conspiracy bullshit. But there's I'm, a GoFundMe page. There's a GoFundMe for page. Save Toys R Us. Yes. It so is the Toys R Us's CEO last ditch effort to save the company and a company that he couldn't manage properly and ran uh -huh. into the ground yep and it any longtime customer would tell you ruined the fucking company and the customer experience and any fucking employee would probably tell you was doing shit that didn't make any sense i know uh so i'm Is asking for one billion dollars on gofundme so you want me to you want me to read this uh yeah yeah read it okay that's uh don't let the lights go out for the next generation of toys r us kids donate now to help save toys r us and this is i'm on their gofundme page right now toys r us is on the verge of permanently closing its doors it feels like an end of an era with sad headlines spreading across news and social media but there is time to save this american I icon and you can help this GoFundMe campaign is spearheaded by Isaac Lorraine and various investor associates. Isaac Lorraine is the CEO of MGA Entertainment, one of the world's leading privately held toy and entertainment companies and creator of family favorite brand titles including Little Tykes. Isaac and his associates are devoted to saving the retail chain and preserving the Toys R Us experience for future generations. You can be a part of this historic movement to hashtag save Toys R Us by donating today. Your donation will help to ensure the generations to come can always be Toys R Us kids and save employees that are at stake should wait whose jobs that are at stake should be company cease should the company cease operations. Sorry, tongue twist a little bit there. The deadline for reaching the one billion goal is Memorial Day, May two thousand eight and eighteen. The funds collected through this campaign would be used to in the formulation of a bid to acquire some Toys R Us assets through the bankruptcy process. This is not a charitable donation, and certain do donor disclosures apply. Please read before donating. Be advised that this is not a donation to a charitable cause, and would there is no tax deduction available. It is a donation to potentially to a pot potentially commercial venture. The funds raised would be added to other capital being gathered by the potential purchasers of some or all of Toys R Us. A donation to this campaign doesn't qualify you to claim equity in any potential acquisition. It simply means that you want future generations to be Toys R Us kids. Therefore, before donating, please note that there is no guarantee that the offer to purchase Toys R Us described will be made or accepted. You are donating at your own risk. If your donation is not used to achieve the purchase of Toys R Us in some form, it will be returned to you. Okay. That uh, that was the one thing I was sitting on. Because like, a lot of these GoFundMe shit, if you don't get it completely funded, sometimes it doesn't come back to you. Yeah. At least it is. It, it does say at the bottom, at least it will be returned to you if it is not used to achieve the purchase of Toys R Us in some form. In some form. So Man, it gets really like... Here. It, um, a billionaire asking for money. <laughs> Yeah. So they are at, they're at 200 CEO. million though. That's fucking insane. Raised by 1,502 people in 3 days. They've raised 200 million 46,111 dollars of 1 billion dollars. I didn't think it was actually going to get that high. Holy shit. People are dumb as fuck. 
Hey, guess this, there's a rich guy who owns a corporation who's asking you, the working class, to donate money to him so that he can uh, he can consolidate other people's capital into his empire. <laughs> How fucking sick is this? It's pretty fucking crazy. And he's using the, the, the people who are losing their jobs because of the mismanagement of him and people like him. Uh, to try like to bait, it's, it's, to like try to bait you into feeling it's guilty so funny about it. How it's, it's so like, sick. I it's know it, it, sick. it does kind of say, like sound really funny, or it's like, hey, you can keep your next kids from being cho- to, you you your next group of generations can yeah. be Toys R Us kids just like you. And then at the bottom, just letting you know that you don't have any equity in this company if you donate. This is a donation, and you will not yeah, receive this isn't anything. A, this isn't an investment. I'm asking you to give me a billion dollars to buy something that you have no stake in. It's gross. It really, <laughs> I think it's gross. But wait, wait till you see some of the achievements. Oh, Jesus. The tears. Oh, God. I love it. For $5, you can get a to- Save Toys R Us bumper sticker. Please review, read before donating, before proceeding. So that's 5 bucks. And then what happens if you do um, 5000 Adam? What do you think you get with that? Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, I at least expect something. <laughs> you get a sticker, pin, magnet, I'll always be a Toys R Us kid shirt, and Little Tyke Super Slam Dunk, Super Slam and Dunk. <laughs> Were you expecting me to say more? Because that's all you get. Um, <laughs> uh, Fuck. Ready? For one, for ten thousand dollars, up to twenty four thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars donations. I should because twenty four nine nine thousand two twenty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. You can get the pin magnet. I'll always be a Toys R Us kid shirt. Local Toys R Us party and a little Tykes makeover. I don't know what a little Tykes makeover is. It sounds very disturbing. Um, <laughs> it's. I don't know. What the fuck is a local Toys R Us party? Is I that a party in a local Toys R Us? I don't know. It doesn't... It, for him to be doing that, doesn't it sound like he already has access to the Toys R Us then? Yeah, I don't know. Just, what the, what fuck? the fuck? It seems pretty funny. Um, here's the 10,000 bumper sticker sign a letter. Uh, and a kid CEO for the day experience including a trip to a southern california theme park travel and accommodations naming rights for a location <laughs> this is so fucking crazy this is crazy like it's a billionaire he won't spend any of his money well i think he said he spent a little bit of his money and that the rest of it would uh well yeah i think their total he, their total debt is over a billion dollars so. yeah he paid for the part that wasn't over a billion dollars but this thing's trending like hell, too. Uh, it's, it's really high it's, up there. It's sick. It's fucking gross. I I can't believe that they they got that much money. Is that... I can't believe this is legal. Yeah. I'm, I, I honestly question if this is legal. I, I honestly do. I guess whenever it says donation. Well, yeah. I mean, he clearly says this isn't a donation. This isn't a charitable donation. This is... You know, you don't own anything into this company. But I just... I, this, seems, is this is a clear manipulation of people. Yeah, it's it's tugging on the nostalgia heartstrings, and it's like, I mean, no, there's a reason. That, I mean, I know it was bad business decision, but there's a reason why Toys R Us is going out of business. It's yeah. it's just changing times. It's not it's not only it's not only just bad business decisions because if you look at um, there's a, an accessory company for girls called Claire's. They're going out of business. Yeah, they're they're. Uh, Best There's, Buy is closing like 250 stores. Yeah, um, the grocery chain uh, Bilo Winn Dixie is closing 90 stores across the United States. Yeah, th- this isn't like this isn't just Toys R Us getting into one bad decision. Like this is clearly this is bad decisions, which compounded an already downward trend in the market. Yes, exactly. And so, okay, let's just say they made this billion dollars, which right now 200 million in three days is a lot of fucking money. Well, it was um. It was two hundred million the last time that I looked at it too, which was days ago. So it looks like it hasn't probably moved that much. Okay. Okay. Well, that's well. Here's the thing: where do we get in ten ten years from now? Ten yeah. years from now, you know what? About, what happens then? You just donated a billion dollars to save a company in a downward trajectory, and why? 
What the fuck? Like, the, I mean, ten the, years the, from now, it's not these stores are going to be gone. Like, I know it's changing fast, and it's a lot of like for people to kind of comprehend that there's a lot of nostalgia with these things. But come on, man. Like, okay. It had its time, and unfortunately, and it's sad. Uh, the only benefit to this is that people don't lose their jobs. Yeah, that's, that, that's the literally the only benefit to this. To this, to this whole entire scheme mm-hmm. is I don't give a shit about the CEOs. And that's exactly why he's asking. Jobs. That's why he's asking for a donation instead of putting up his own money for this. Instead of taking out a loan, or you know, or having it financed, whatever, or have investors come in, he's asking people for money. Because he knows he can get away with it because people want to save these jobs. Yes. It's, it's it's a gross manipulation of people's emotions. I do not like it. I do not. <clears throat> and I was dumbfounded when you told me about it. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, you didn't believe it was fucking real. No, I told I was like, I'm like, all right, Adam, I'll do some research on that. Wink, wink. I don't think I'm going to actually do any research on it because it doesn't seem like it's going to really be true. Yeah, it doesn't. It sounds insane. Yeah, it, it does. It sounds insane, It sounds nuts it? to me. So, oof. Okay. 